JLP has preliminary lead in seven parishes after local elections. Both the Jamaica Labour Party and the People's National Party are claiming victory in Monday's 17th local government elections. Preliminary figures indicate that the JLP won or is leading in seven of the 13 municipal corporations up for grabs, while the parties are tied in Clarendon, Kingston and St. Andrew. The PNP has won or is leading in five, including Portmore. Prime Minister Andrew Holness was speaking at a late night press conference at the JLP's Belmont Road headquarters in St. Andrew on Monday, says the result proves Jamaicans maintain confidence in his administration. But we waited until we got the latest results from the Electoral Office of Jamaica. Uh, what we can say to the nation is that the Jamaica Labour Party retains seven municipal corporations uh, with a clear lead. The PNP, the PNP has four, and uh, there are two that are reported to be tied. So, without question, the Jamaica Labour Party has won the uh, municipal elections, without question. The two municipal corporations that are the two municipal corporations that are tied, we should have some definitive results on those uh, in a few days, possibly by Wednesday. But as you know, with these elections, as it was in 2016, they go they go through recounts, uh, and uh, where there are very close margins, there is the potential for change. So right now, the most definitive result that we can say is that the Jamaica Labour Party holds seven municipal corporations, which is the majority of the corporations. Um, the ties are the KCC and, uh, at this point, Clarendon. Uh, and as I said, those will probably go through magisterial recalls. How do you interpret this? How do, you, how do you interpret this? Well, if, if we look at what existed before, um, the PNP retained Clarendon, well, sorry, retained Westmoreland, which they had, Hanover, uh, Manchester, and St. Catherine. Uh, the Jamaica Labour Party, uh, retained all that it had, which was uh, Trelawney, St. Mary, St. Anne, uh, St. James, St. Elizabeth, St. Thomas, and Portland. So how do you interpret this? Clearly, the people of Jamaica maintains confidence in the government of the Jamaica Labour Party. Clearly, clearly, if this were a, a general election, the Jamaica Labour Party would still be the government of Jamaica, which is the, <laughs> which is which is the result. So uh, there is no, in in, in my opinion, uh, as I had expected, the results would largely be the same. Now, there are, however, issues that have come up in the campaign, which the government has been seized of and recognizes. And I think the people have, in their wisdom, found a way to communicate these issues through the ballot to the government. The government cannot ignore this. As we went around the country, every member of parliament, every councillor contesting the election, 
would have come up on the issues of roads and water. Uh, these are not issues that are uh, that originate with the Jamaica Labour Party. These have been long-standing issues that the people of Jamaica have been suffering. Uh, but we note that people's expectations have risen. I, I made the observation that there are more cars in Jamaica now than ever before. Almost 150,000 or more cars have been imported into Jamaica since 2016. And uh, the level of housing construction has increased. Uh, and therefore, people are expecting these conveniences and utilities to be readily available. Other pain points, such as garbage collection, uh, more buses for public transportation, these are all issues that affect people in their households and in local ways. Uh, the government is sensitive to this, uh, recognizes that this has been uh, an impact on the poll, but it is clearly uh, not to the point where the public feels that the Jamaica Labour Party has not done anything about it. So we see this poll as an expression of frustration uh, and the government interprets this as we need to step up the pace at which we deliver benefits. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Holness says the opposition PNP cannot claim a victory based on the results of Monday's poll. So I want to therefore... Uh, congratulate all the councillors who have won, both in the JLP and in the PNP. I want to thank the voters who participated in the election. As I said earlier, this is a victory for Jamaica's democracy. Uh, it shows that our institutions are strong. Uh, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the campaign, and I was very happy to have the opportunity once again to go out and uh, do what I like to do, which is to meet my people, interact with them, and uh, explain to them what the direction is. Um, I, I know that there are those who will try to contort the results into a victory. In no calculus is 7-4 a victory, none whatsoever for the opposition. <laughs> In none. So, so I know that, that uh, there are those who will try to, to, to contort it. While not ruling out a general election this year, Mr. Holness believes Jamaicans are not interested in another contest at this time. I have given it some thought, but I won't share them just yet. The, the, the truth is, we have work to do, and we have to be careful about election fatigue. I, I get the sense that people are more interested in getting their roads fixed and their water supplies um, connected. And uh, for the months remaining to the constitutional due date, I can assure you that the government will be working very hard to have those two top items dealt with. That was Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness.